Here are five things pharmacy professionals should know about non-sterile compounding. First, non-sterile compounding means medications are prepared in a space that is clean, but not necessarily free of microorganisms. Non-sterile compounded preparations, commonly known as compounds, are typically used orally or topically. They are never injected or used in the eyes. Second, a medication should only be compounded if a commercial product is unavailable or requires modification to suit a patient's needs. The pharmacist must also be able to educate the patient about the compound. Third, all compounds must be checked in two distinct ways. A pharmacist must therapeutically check that the formulation is safe and appropriate based on the patient's reason for use. As well, a regulated pharmacy professional such as a pharmacist or technician must check that the calculations, ingredients, measurements, equipment, processes and final product are correct. Fourth, all compounds should be prepared in a separate space designated only for compounding. Compounds with higher risk ingredients may also require personal protective equipment, a fume hood, a separate ventilated room, or a negative pressure room. Finally, all compounds should be prepared using a master formulation record, which is a recipe that includes the instructions needed to prepare, package, check, and dispense the compound. A separate compounding record should also be created each time a compound is prepared to document calculations, ingredient expiry dates and lot numbers, checks, and any deviations from the compounding procedure. Compounding requires a high degree of skill and training. Pharmacies that cannot meet these requirements should refer compounded prescriptions to a pharmacy that can.